Right, good morning guys. We've got a new wear Q8 uh, wristband smartwatch here. Um, now this is a fairly generic model. Um, it also, identical watch can be bought under the name of the Okital W1. Um, all the functions are absolutely exactly the same. Prices may vary. Um, let's just have a look what we've got in the box. Right, so we've got a um, screen protector on the front uh, and let's have a look what we have in the box. That's just a magnetic charging lead. So this can only actually go on one way. It's a very clever design. Just see what else we've got. I think um, just the instruction booklet in Chinese on one side and on the other side in full English. Very basic instructions. There's the barcode there for, or the QR code, I should say, for the app, which is one of the very first things that you'll need to, uh, to install. Uh, without that installing the app, you won't be able to set the time or any of the functions. So that's a priority. Yeah, all very basic, uh, and ba very, very basic instructions, but it, it's enough to get you going. It's not rocket science. Okay, so let's take a basic look at what we've got on the, uh, on the watch itself. Um, touching the front face gives us a selection of watch faces. Now we can change this by just holding the display. There's one of three, I think it is. Yeah, one, two, or three. Put it back to that. I like that one. That also displays the date and the um, uh, battery level and the day. So from that screen, we tap it twice and we get a heart rate monitor. Now if I hold that, this now goes into a heart rate monitor um, for monitoring your heart continually. So if I just stay still, there we go, uh, and we're away. Now that will just stay on there until I actually stop it. And if I put the app um, if I run the app, you can actually see it live on the app as well. So that's transmitting the data to your um, to your smartphone. So to stop it, just hold again. The next function we've got is how many steps we've walked today. Moving on from that is calories burned, um, kilometers walked. Now, strangely, if I if I just go back to that kilometers walked. Scroll through the whole thing again and hold it. We get a game now. I don't really know what that's all about. Why they've um, why they've included a, a game on that screen? But if you hold it down, we get this rather silly game, and it uh, it buzzes your it buzzes your wrist every time you um, you hit one of the little red boxes. So it's to keep keep the kids amused probably. Um, stop it again. Uh, so we've got um, that's how many hours we've slept. Now the a great interest to many people will be the blood pressure monitor and um, this is certainly the reason I, um, I opted for this model. If I just hold that again we go into the uh, blood rate monitor and it's actually testing now so I'm trying to just stay still while this counts down. 20 seconds to go. I might speed this up. Okay, so there we are, and that's given me a display of, uh, of 
uh, blood pressure. And that's actually, I found, I'm quite surprised, it is actually quite accurate. Uh, what else have we got from blood pressure? We go to the camera mode and operating that will operate the shutter on the phone camera. I think that's basically toggled all, all the way through. Just go, oh no, we got messages, I'm forgetting messages. So I've got a basic uh, message that was updating one of my camera apps. Uh, I think we've gone all the way through now. Oh, and the off button. Last option is the off button. So um, if I hold that, it powers down. Um, Holding it back on, powers it back on, and away we go. Right, where, there we are, that's the actual watch. Um, let's just take a quick look at the app. Right, so unfortunately I've got a bit of a display problem with my smartphone. I've got a new one on order waiting for that. Um, but uh, we can still see the display good enough. Um, so just go to device. We've got um, binding management. That's to connect the Bluetooth. Reminder settings gives us three different alarms. Um, I rather wish it was more than three, but um, it is actually enough. The, if you needed more than three alarms, you can actually use the drink remind, which is uh, unusual because it, you can actually set the individual times that you want to have a drink. So um, you could actually set those for anything you wanted. So it's not necessarily a drink water uh, reminder. Um, phone remind just gives a message when your phone's ringing, SMS reminder. And you can select all the, uh, all the various apps that you've got on your phone to give notifications as well. So that's that. Let's just go back to the main menu. Um, blood pressure setting. There we go. That's exactly the same as what I've got on the watch. Um, an interesting one, interesting setting. I'll just go back to uh, Hey Band. Along the top here, we've got um, a selection of things. Now, a very useful one is the, it's got like a, a plaster. If you click that, we've got one key examination. Now, if I press that, um, determine, then that happens on the watch. I'll have to stay still for 20 seconds. Again, I might just speed this up. Right, okay, there we are. So now we've got, it's, it's done four checks in one. It's given heart rate, blood pressure, and a fatigue setting, and blood oxygen. Now, the fatigue setting is quite an interesting one. There is no option on the actual watch itself. In, uh, toggling through the menus, there is no fatigue test. And I've actually found this quite quite interesting. Um, if I just go back, you can individually check each each one that you want. Or well, having just pressed one key examination gives you results for the whole lab. If I just select that uh, mild fatigue, we've got my mild fatigue, that's making this video. Start measuring. And as I said, there's no way of actually accessing this other than on the app which I, I found a bit strange but uh, there we go anyway so this is another one that I'm gonna have to just speed up okay we're still on mild fatigue I don't know why that is but uh, there we go anyway <laughs> right oh what else have we got uh, we're, uh, running no exercise, that's, uh, that's me. <laughs> Heart. I've got no record stored on that. I'm not too sure why it hasn't actually stored, um, stored previous records, but um, I've not really looked into that too much, so I'll, um, I shall skip that for now. 
uh, steps I think we've already covered. Yeah, I think that's basically about it. Um, we've got a me setting um, which allows you to um, set your goals uh, and um, what units, just basic information about yourself. If you don't set this information, your, your weight and etc., then the, uh, the data displayed on the watch itself won't be accurate. Uh, this particularly affects the steps. So make sure you've actually entered all your personal data in correctly. Right, well, there we are. That's it. That's the Okitel W1, um, also known by Newwear Q8. And I've no doubt there are probably several other um, brands available, identical watches. So there we are. If you uh, enjoyed watching this little video, you can find purchase links below. Uh, this came from Lazada, but uh, it's available from Banggood, and it's also on the Gear Best websites. Give links below the video, take a look, compare the prices. Okay guys, all for now. Bye.